Meet Kojak, a TV series from 1973 that's more than just a crime drama. It's a roller coaster of funny, shocking, and sad moments. The show revolves around a tough and bald detective known simply as Kojak. What sets this series apart is its ability to tell captivating stories that keep viewers glued to the screen. Have you ever wondered which character in the show left a lasting impression on you? Was it the witty detective himself or one of the many interesting roles around him? Share your favorite character in the comments below. We're eager to hear your thoughts. As you delve into the episodes, remember that there are numerous personal stories about how Kojak has inspired or affected lives. Have you ever had a moment where the show made a significant difference in your own life? Share your stories, we're all ears. Now get ready for the journey ahead, filled with twists and turns that will leave you both laughing and on the edge of your seat. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Kojak? We'd love to hear about it. Drop your stories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts and gripping tales from the show. The excitement is just beginning. Keep watching. The 1973 TV series Kojak has made a lasting impression on television history, leaving a memorable mark that still resonates today. Its influence goes beyond a typical crime drama with gripping stories and characters that bring out funny, shocking, and touching moments. At the center of it all is the tough and bald detective, a character integral to the series whose presence speaks to the show's lasting appeal. With sharp wit and an unwavering commitment to justice, he became an iconic figure whose impact stretched beyond the TV screen. The show remains relevant today by telling engaging stories that address issues still significant in contemporary society. The detective's tenacity, moral values, and resilience in the face of challenges continue to connect with viewers. The dynamics between characters, the storytelling nuances, and the exploration of human complexities contribute to the show's enduring charm. Beyond mere entertainment, Kojak has inspired and touched lives, becoming more than just a source of amusement. It becomes a companion through life's ups and downs, weaving itself into personal stories of those who found solace or motivation in its narratives. Reflecting on cherished memories related to Kojak, the show becomes a shared journey, a cultural touchstone connecting people through their common appreciation for compelling storytelling. Whether a moment of laughter or a suspenseful scene, Kojak has become a part of our collective consciousness. In conclusion, Kojak's lasting impact goes beyond being a crime drama. It mirrors the human experience, offering lessons, entertainment, and a timeless connection bridging generations. Debuting in 1973, this TV series became a pivotal point in Kevin Dobson's television career. Dobson's acting journey kick started with the compelling narratives of the show. Adding a touch of family authenticity, Telly Savalas' real-life brother, George Savalas, took on the role of Detective Stavros, providing a supporting character that added depth to the ensemble cast. George's portrayal brought a unique flavor to the dynamic between characters, contributing to the overall richness of the storytelling. Amidst the cast, Captain Frank McNeil stands out as the longest-serving member, weathering the storms of the police squad. McNeil's seasoned presence adds authority and experience to the team, emphasizing the complexities of law enforcement and the challenges faced over time. These characters, portrayed by talented actors, weave together a narrative that goes beyond the typical crime drama, creating a TV series that not only entertains, but also explores human experiences within law enforcement. In a storytelling world often filled with cliches, Kojak showcases the power of genuine characters and well-crafted narratives. The series doesn't just present crime-solving, it delves into the intricacies of relationships, duty, and the personal journeys of its characters. Kojak's influence on television goes beyond its time, leaving a lasting impression on viewers who have followed with these characters' journeys. In conclusion, with compelling characters and engaging narratives, Kojak transcends the conventional crime drama offering viewers a glimpse into the world of law enforcement, human relationships, and the ever-evolving nature of justice. It's a series that has not only entertained, but has also made a lasting impact on television. The Marcus Nelson Murders, the feature-length pilot episode of the TV series, presented a stark departure from the regular show. Filmed extensively in New York, the pilot embraced a gritty aesthetic. Notably, the supporting cast comprised mostly corrupt police officers and politicians, setting a distinct tone. Premiering on October 24, 1973, at 10,000 p.m. EST, 9,000 p.m. PST on CBS, the show displaced the ongoing crime drama canon from its time slot. 
This scheduling shift marked the beginning of Kojak's journey on the television landscape. Throughout the series, Telly Savalas, who played the titular detective, was frequently seen both sucking on a lollipop and smoking. Interestingly, Savalas, in real life, was attempting to quit smoking, using the lollipop as a substitute. The character Kojak even acknowledged his excessive smoking habits, revealing the lollipop ritual, excluding Sundays, as a coping mechanism. In essence, Kojak, with its pilot's unique visual style and scheduling impact, unfolded as a crime drama that dared to deviate from the norm. Telly Savalas' dual vice of lollipops and smoking added an intriguing layer to the character's complexity. The series made its mark not just as a crime-solving narrative, but as a portrayal of a tough detective navigating the challenges of law enforcement. Kevin Dobson, the last surviving member of the cast until his death on September 6, 2020, held a unique place in the ensemble of the show. Not only the last survivor, but also the youngest cast member, his presence added a layer of continuity to the series' history. Telly Savalas' personal connections echoed on screen as many of his friends joined the show's cast. George Savalas, Tig Andrews, Bruce Kirby, Jackie Cooper, Michael Constantine, Vincent Gardenia, Daniel J. Traventy, Bernie Copel, Shelley Winters, Eli Wallach, and Danny Thomas all contributed to the series, creating a sense of camaraderie that translated into the dynamics between characters. Living in Universal City, California, Savalas maintained a routine of traveling to his family every weekend during breaks in the shooting schedule. This commitment to family life added a personal touch to his portrayal of the tough detective, underscoring the balance between the demanding nature of his profession and the importance of familial bonds. Intriguingly, the series pilot episode, The Marcus Nelson Murders, marked a departure from the regular format. Filmed extensively in New York, it embraced a gritty aesthetic and featured a supporting cast mostly comprised of corrupt police officers and politicians. This bold move set a distinct tone for the series, challenging the norms of crime dramas. Premiering on October 24, 1973, at 10,000 p.m. EST, 9,000 p.m. PST on CBS, the show displaced the ongoing crime drama canon from its time slot. This strategic scheduling shift marked the beginning of Kojak's journey on the television landscape. Telly Savalas, portraying the titular detective, developed a unique character trait, frequently seen both sucking on a lollipop and smoking. Interestingly, this dual vice served a purpose beyond the screen as Savalas, in real life, was attempting to quit smoking, using the lollipop as a substitute. The character Kojak even acknowledged his excessive smoking habits, revealing the lollipop ritual, excluding Sundays, as a coping mechanism. In essence, Kojak emerged not just as a crime-solving narrative, but as a portrayal of a tough detective navigating the challenges of law enforcement, with Savalas' personal struggles influencing the character's idiosyncrasies.